I was asked to do a more in-depth video on this ship I showed in my hybrid grid tutorial. I leave a link to it below. So here we are. I built this ship on her dam during one of my saves. I wanted to build a spaceship with horizontal floors and some detail, but I also wanted it to have some large grid box. So I made a hybrid grid ship. Hybrid meaning it has some large grid blocks in the middle. They are surrounded by a more detailed small grid ship. Using small grid for most of the parts saves on resources, although building it took quite a long time. On the other hand, it was super satisfying to have the ability to tweak the placement of conveyors and other parts more precisely. Almost makes you feel like you're designing an actual spaceship. I built this ship for the purpose of being a long-range exploration ship, or a lightweight moving base. It has quite a large fuel capacity for extended operational range. A total of 8 hydrogen tanks, 3 on the back side of the ship, and 1 on the belly side of the ship. Same for the other side. It has a few solar panels for energy production. The large grid ore scanner makes finding ores a lot easier. And the basic refinery and the assembler give me the ability to make parts on the go. The ship has a pressurized interior with horizontal floors for realism. And also a survival kit for respawning. As you can see on the bottom, this interior is completely airtight and pressurized. This is all pressurized using these air vents. I did use a few mods when building the interior, like one to find air leaks. These are the mods I used in this save. I'll do a quick interior tour of the ship. Letters are used for moving in a gravity environment. The floor down has a passenger's area with a few seats and some tables. The second floor down contains the survival kit and other parts used in survival, such as the oxygen tank for filling oxygen bottles, hydrogen tank for filling hydrogen bottles, the cryo tank and the survival kit. Then there's this intermediate part with not much function, but it has a cool window. Then on the bottom there are a couple of floors with access to cargo containers. In gravity environments you usually can fit through this gap, but it seems like... oh. Well, sometimes you get stuck, but you can get out of it using the jetpack. This is the bottom floor. Same lay layout as the floor above. On the bottom floor you can find the first airlock door. I used these air vents for depressurizing the airlock. also has some extendable landing legs. Quite a simple design with just landing legs attached to pistons. But it keeps them out of the way and hidden. I don't have any footage of the build process itself. Although I did grab some screenshots at the time. This is a save I did before detachment and leaving the first base. When building hybrid grid ships I always start with the placement of the large blocks. Since moving them could be quite difficult. Or in some cases 
you won't even be able to place the same blocks back if you grind them off, even if there are no collisions. After placing the large grid core, I started working out the layout of the floors and the silhouette of the ship. From there it was connecting the floors together with pillars and filling in the gaps to make it airtight. You should first place the bigger blocks such as the tanks and cargo containers before adding much detailing. You might also want to completely weld the large grid and the connecting blocks in the small grid so that you don't accidentally detach the grids and also so things like this don't happen. Thanks for watching and click the like if you enjoyed. Maybe even subscribe or check out my channel for other stuff like this and weird content in general.